97% is a number you might have heard a lot in the last few years. That's the number of scientists who supposedly believe in global warming theory. That 97% claim is questionable, but let's ask the more important question. Why do we find the idea of consensus convincing at all? The terms global warming skeptic and climate change skeptic are insults, but those who use this line of attack ignore that science only works when there are skeptics. Science is rooted in replicable research and experimentation. A scientist examines an existing set of facts and concocts a theory that explains those facts. He or she makes a prediction to test that theory. If the prediction comes true, that constitutes evidence to support the theory. If the prediction fails, that undermines the theory and the scientist goes back to the drawing board. It doesn't matter whether a scientist is on the payroll of the American Cancer Society or a tobacco company, whether he is a communist or a Jew or a Baptist, beats her spouse or volunteers at a soup kitchen. Only the evidence counts. But what happens when someone gets the evidence wrong and it needs correction? That's what critical peer review, aka skepticism, is for. In biomedical sciences, non-replication rates are estimated to range between 75 and 90 percent. Venture capital firms now take it for granted that 50 percent of published academic studies cannot be replicated. Imagine what would be done in those cases if there were no skeptics. Business and medicine would be at a standstill. If climate skeptics end up being correct, those attempting to silence them will go down in history alongside the members of the scientific consensus that in years past agreed that the Earth was the center of the universe, that continental drift was impossible, that canals existed on Mars, and that evils such as white supremacy and eugenics were scientifically true. When told of a publication entitled 100 Authors Against Einstein, Albert Einstein reputedly said, Why 100? If I were wrong, one would have been enough. Science cannot function if skeptics are harassed and ostracized. When someone is challenging a scientific consensus with facts and logic, that's to be encouraged, not dismissed due to politics. Argument, not anathema, is the way to approach scientific issues surrounding climate change. To learn more, you can read our study on climate change advocacy at climatedollars.org. I'm Dr. Stephen J. Allen. Thanks for watching.